Gold or Sand Chinese, 1848 to 1852. Leah, Connor, Jacob, Kayla, Tyler. Breaking news, gold is found in the American River. Miners are flooding from all over the world to strike it rich. In 1848, James Marshall was building a sawmill on the American River He caught when he caught a glimpse of something shining in the water. By 1849, tens of thousands of gold seekers from around the world had joined the California Gold Rush. About two-thirds of these people were 49ers from America. Most miners were strong young men. One in every ten Californians were Chinese. They traveled across the Pacific in search of gold. The Chinese were told that large houses, great pay, and plenty of food and clothing would be provided for them in California. At first, they, are, they were welcome, but later they were taxed to try to make them leave. They burned down their shacks, and their traditional hair braids were cut off by greedy Americans. Most 49ers spent their days in icy cold streams, digging up rocks and dirt. Equipment was expensive, too, and, ex was expensive and food was, too. Most did not have the money for this because most ended up not getting any gold because it was gone all too soon. Most miners would have loved to go home to their families, but did not have the money. The quick day fortune making was over. There are thousands of men in California who would be glad to go home if they had the money, wrote a miner in 1851. Instead, these miners were stuck in brutal mining camps. They were filled with drinking saloons, gambling tables, merchants making money off selling eggs and flour at high prices. With no police to keep things under control, things got out of hand. Many miners turned to crimes to settle the problems. In this short space of 24 hours, we have had we have had murders, fearful accidents, bloody deaths, a mob, a whipping, a hanging, an attempted suicide, and a fatal death. Fatal duel, wrote Lewis Clapp. In 1852, the gold rush was over. While the gold rush was going on, about 250,000 people flooded to California for Native Indians. This legacy was an invade, when invasion was awful. Between 1848 and 1870, welfare and disease dropped their population from around 150,000 to 30,000. By 1850, California had had enough people to become the first state in the far west. These new corners transformed the Golden State into a diverse land of economic opportunities. If it wasn't for Manifest Destiny, people wouldn't have traveled west and found gold in, the Californ gold in California. We, we got this from our textbooks.